Well, a good day to you all, and you join me here in the centre of London. And I'm here today to film with London bus drivers Andre and Zoe. And we're here at Tottenham Court Road because we're going to be travelling on the new Elizabethan line. Hey! <laughs> Sparkling an apple. Oh, no added oh, sugar. Lovely. Well, All I, right. I usually drink water. That's <laughs> <laughs> Right, here we are, we're just going to look at the map. So, uh, guys, where are we going? Um, I would say Abbey Wood. Abbey what do you Wood. say? Yeah, let's go to Abbey Wood. I don't I'll know, I've never, I've never done this before, so this is great. <laughs> Okay, so we are down inside the actual station of Tottenham Court Road. I'm going to ask Anton what he thinks about the station overall. What do you think? Yeah, I love the lighting here. It's so bright. I feel, I feel like I'm outside actually. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, I literally feel it's, it's, it's very positive. It's just a lot of lighting. It's well lit up. I know a few dark places, you know, dark bus stops, blah, blah, blah. It's not good to have. Sorry, we'll cut that out. Uh, but if you look just behind, you'll see some lovely lighting on the escalator. Actually, I know we're taking the lift, but as you'll see, we've got TV screens all the way down the escalator. So there's a lot of light everywhere. It's, it's really good. Yeah, it's very nice and bright, as Anton said. And I like the picture on the ceiling, the gold stars, and, you know, it's very nice. A bit romantic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it does, actually. That oh. ceiling looks nice. Look, it's got gold. Can you see it? It's got that gold... Um... Yeah, look it, look, it looks like stars. It does, yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's see how long it takes to uh, get a new lift. Take 10 minutes. No, no, no. Take, <laughs> oh, no, it might take uh, 30, 30, 40 seconds. No, actually, it's really, really what quick. Oh, that's really uh, quick. Not beginning, which means as soon as we pressed it, yeah. it's taken about 25 seconds. It's not that. Yeah. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Wow, it smells new, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Smell new. Why, are we going to. Where are we going? I don't know. Elizabeth Light. Oh, Elizabeth Light. <laughs> so this goes to show, it goes, is this well lit up? I was looking more at one, two, four. Ooh, I realize, no, it's good to show, but could that be bigger? Could that Elizabeth line be, be bigger, maybe? We're already doing the first one. Yes. It is, it's very impressive. Yeah. I don't travel on the tube much, the Victoria line. Yeah. 
So where are we going to, Anton? We're going to Abbey Wood. Abbey is, Wood. Uh, I actually don't know if I've been there before in the last 10 years, actually. So uh, yeah, we're going about, we're going seven stops. One, two, three, four. Seven stops, I don't know how long it'll take, but uh, let's go check it out. Cool, all right. Zoe, what do you think? Is it really, really quiet? Look how it is, like a library. So nice and quiet. Shh, you're not allowed to talk it down here. It's not really nice and quiet, isn't it? Isn't it? I know. It's only us talking. People can't talk on the end of them. You know, you can come and relax here. Yeah, we can sit down here, read a book, read a newspaper. Yeah, honestly, it's so quiet. This is the quietest train station. Train station, sorry. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Right, on. Hello. 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 Andre, how many stations does the Elizabethan line have? It has 39 stations. No, so sorry. It has 41 stations, but it's got 39 step free access, which it shows. Oh, yes, yeah, that's right. It shows it right here, actually. Just, uh... right, this, so, that. this is my question to both yeah. of you. Have you both downloaded the TFL Go app on your mobile mm, phone devices? No, I haven't actually. No. Bad people they haven't downloaded the TFL Go app. Guys, if you haven't downloaded the TFL Go app, you can download it on your Apple devices as well as your. Android devices you can find your on your devices. Easy. Okay, got the tube map, cross rail, under underground. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's right. Guys, I'll go and download it. When did the Elizabethan line open? Oh, it opened 24th of May, hmm. 6 31 in the morning. Oh. Yeah, and right away it had 100,000 passengers. Oh, on the first day? The first time it opened. Oh, that's very impressive. And it can handle it as well. So go. Let's get on the train. Oh, it smells fresh in here. Do you know what? Let me sit next to you guys. Do you want to sit? The, you sit middle. You sit middle. <laughs> That's a full nice. change. Do you know what? I should ask you a question. How do you get down here? Do you take the um, London Underground? Yeah, I got the Victoria Line down here. And, how and, do you, then, and then I got the Central Line one stop. It's a Tottenham Court Road. Yeah. Well, was that the Central Line? Uh, yeah, it was actually, yeah. So yeah. I actually took two lines to get here. Um, Two, two, two tube lines. I like the Victoria line because it's fast actually. It's fast, from Wolfenstow yeah. to Brixton. Yeah, it is actually. This does remind me a lot of the overground. I travel on the overground Ooh. occasionally. Um, it's a cross between trains. This and is it's a cross between train. Yeah. Train. This is the train. Yeah. yeah. So this is a cross between yeah, train and tube. But I don't really travel on trains, I'll be absolutely honest. Let's Mainly because on my staff Liverpool pass, yeah. my staff pass is actually for the bus, Change the oak. Circle, Hampstead City, Metropolitan, Northern, London Overground Lines, National Road Services, and the Lizard Line Services towards Shinfield via Stratford. Wow, that's impressive. Great big announcement, by the way. So I uh, usually travel. Wait a minute. Yeah. So yeah, I'll just speak over it. So basically, uh, I travel on the bus, the overground. No, it's the bus and the underground mostly. The overground occasionally. I don't use the Docklands Line Railway or the tram, but the train I don't really use, mainly because my staff pass isn't covered on the train. But on this train, it is covered as far as is it Abbey Wood, I think. Yeah. And then all the way back to Paddington. And also Heathrow as well. You can use it on your. Oh, we can. So we can actually take the staff pass to Heathrow. So Heathrow terminals two and three and four yeah. and five. You yeah. know, use it. Which is pretty cool. It's pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. 
go. Right, so we can go and keep going. Look, you can yeah. see how far it is. It is really hot, isn't it? You see as far right down as you can. Literally, it feels like about... It's like a little snake, isn't you've it? You've got the bars in the middle. So you've got these bars here. These are kind of in the middle. So you can't exactly see all the way down as you can on an overground train. But it's still impressive, actually. Yeah. You don't want to see all the way down. It's nice to have a bit of privacy, you know. I like how it goes inside the tunnel. It kind of curves around like a little snake. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So what is your impression of it then? My impression is really roomy, really spacious. Um, the Mayor of London yeah. has actually um, announced on the newspaper that they're bringing Wi-Fi onto the trains on the London Underground, yeah, yeah. which is pretty cool. Yes, um, it's true, actually, I don't yeah. know whether you've got Wi-Fi on your phone. Have you got any signal on your phone? Let's, let's test and see if we've got any signal on your mobile phone device. Can I just see if I can And see whether you can play a YouTube video, maybe perhaps. Trains. Or, Oh, I mean, so I'll just put YouTube on, yeah? Let's see if you Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, oh no, no. no connected no. internet. You're offline, it says. It's offline. Okay. Offline, yeah, boys. Yeah. Offline. <laughs> so there you go. It's not exactly working. Not yet. No. But, well, hopefully. But I, hopefully. I mean, I'm used to kind of just checking messages on the uh, underground. It's nice to sometimes have that little bit of, you know, where you can catch up on all the messages. Do you know what, the train does look quite solid, actually. Yeah. The train does put off quite quickly, doesn't it? It does, actually, yeah. It, it is smooth, actually. You know, it is. Um, it is smooth. I'll be honest, it's very quiet. It's got an air, airy feel about it. It's very... It feels very professional. So smooth. Usually on the London Underground, I'm used to these noises, you know what I mean, or a certain, you know, yeah. you know, like you kind of, if, if you were, if, example, if you were blind, you might be able to know where you are on the underground by certain noises that the train makes between certain stations, whereas here, it's hard to tell, it's just very, very quiet, apart from that announcement that you can hear on the PA system. No, it's very impressive. What, what do you think about the, um, the gaps between the platform and the train? Is there any large gaps that you might notice? Uh, I think it's well designed, I think. Yeah, Part of yeah. one has actually really took their time yeah, constructing yeah. the trains. Yeah. Um, I don't know what class this is. Class three eight five, I think. It is not. It is very. Yeah, it's very roomy. Yeah, it is very very impressive. So I'm just making a little bit of a log, just. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, just capturing us talking on the train. It's a train, isn't it? It is. I, I would suppose it's, it's a train. I think it's a train and a tube. We did board from Tottenham Court Road already. It's, uh, it's very quick. Very quick. Yeah. So this time by next year, me and Anton, and hopefully Zoe, so we're sitting down back there. She's just holding our bags for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully this time next year we'll do another video. Is that how long it will take from yeah. Heathrow yeah. to be the press to Woolwich? That's right, yeah. Or Abbey, Abbey, Abbey Wood? Ab Abbey, Abbey Wood. Abbey, Abbey Wood. Abbey Abbey is that Abbey the Beatles? Road? Abbey Wood. I'm getting confused. Oh, Abbey Road. Is it Abbey, Abbey Road? Road, yeah. Abbey, Abbey Wood is... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Would you say this is your best transport in London rather than all the other London Underground? I mean, the Victoria Line, uh, Central Line, I mean. Are you kidding me? The best in the whole world, not in London only. So, if you were going on a holiday next week, would you take this to Heathrow? Ten times. Ten times. Oh. Would you take this train to Heathrow? If I was going on a plane, yes. Yes. <laughs> no, no, it's good. <laughs> and I would take this train to Heathrow, without a doubt. You guys went through the train. We did, yeah, yeah. Does it have toilets? We haven't gone to the end, but we don't think there's any toilets. Is that right? Because it, well, you will get them on the London Underground, but on the train you would, wouldn't you? This is the train to The train you would, but I, I thought maybe because this is a new one, maybe they have a toilet. I wasn't expecting a toilet, I'll be honest, because I'm thinking it's like an underground, you know, unless it's really long distance, like it's going to say, I don't know, Birmingham, because I know on some of the smaller trains, I went on a train, I think one of those ones that stops at every stop, and I don't think they have toilets on them, but the really long distance trains, they usually have toilets on them, actually. See, when I was young, purple was my favourite colour, so I actually do like that. Just remember that logo branding on the buses, you know, the uh, red and black and grey colour, similar to that, but like a train version. Um, the only problem is I'm banging my head on this. And then again, we were walking down and we were kind of filming, so you just got to watch where you're going. I mean, this could this be in a slightly different colour, maybe? I honestly don't know. I like the greys; it mixes it quite well. It's a little bit boring, but I think that, that 
helps, it needs to be a bit a little bit more of it. It should really stand out too much. Yeah. It's clean, it's many space, you can walk around both yeah. stays and trains. But DLR there are minus in the train rail system. Services. Uh, small letters on the name of the stations. Oh, all right, on, yeah, the, on so the map. On the map, so it's sometimes it's difficult to see. It's a Every train, every station that we go to, here on the Elizabeth Line of Roche Rail has step free access for everybody to board. Nice and easy, so there's no gap between the train and the platform edge. Um, so I find it really, really pretty cool and amazing. The door sounds stand clear of the closing doors. Not the front doors, as it's all signposted for you guys, so it's pretty cool. Um, if the train does become really, really packed, you do have a bit of a problem here, which Anton and Zoe has mentioned, even including I, uh, should these be a different colour as yellow, or should they stay as purple, or any other colours? And if we've taught people, I'm going to bang our head. These are quite hard plastic, um, which is pretty, pretty annoying. Um, which is really nice. Train does swivel to this, uh, to like a little stake to the left and right, which is nice. Nice on board uh, screen, the station rides. Uh, the station, next station is Abbey Wood. We didn't want to trade from Paddington Station. Um, it does come up with the other underground lines with the Victoria Line, with the National Rail, and everything else was pretty cool. It tells you an update of the service. Train really, really quick. It does go through the tunnel, whoosh, through the uh, tunnel really quickly. Um, the lighting on this train is really fantastic. And I, I have to say, it's really, pretty, really nice. And I love it. We really, really do love it. It's nice to have a mixture of daylight as well as dark. Can I'm on the London Underground too much. <laughs> Victoria Line is just pitch black all the time. All oh, the time. This is very, very I I impressive. Um, the only bad points, uh, as Zoe mentioned, actually there was no electrical charging points for your mobile devices. Uh, there was a, a, a passenger who just spoke for us on the video saying that the maps up there, the words are too small, especially if, if you're not good at reading English. You're going to find it hard to read. So I think those maps should be a lot bigger. Please take all your belongings with you. <laughs> <laughs> if you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport. Yeah, there's three people tell me what's going on. <laughs> I'm throwing. See it. Say, say it. Sort it. 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 Say it. Sort sort it. it. it says train two of nine. Is that what it says? Train. Yeah. Two of nine. Um, Can you see it? And. Um, so since it's very hot these days guys, don't forget this, you have to have a bottle of water everywhere you go, you never know when you need it and usually you have, we have to drink a lot of water, maybe two litres every day, so be careful and don't wear coats and jackets, <laughs> come on, I see people still wearing the, the coats and jackets and the, the, they're sweating. In a hot summer. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Your health, come on, guys. Don't look at your phone screens all the time, it's too addictive. Old fashioned way, pick up a book and read it. Look at these ones, even for children <laughs> to come and read and have a nice time. Oh dear, look what Anton's doing. If you come to Abbey Wood, ladies and gents, and you find this, you know who's been here. Come and get all yours as quick as you can, because it won't be here for long. Let's double deck at Anton, he's leaving his trace around London. And we might actually do a YouTube video soon, maybe perhaps in the future, of double deck, double deck at Anton doing an Easter egg hunt and leave clues around. No, we're, we're, we're doing that. I suppose and we could do that, yeah. Let's leave yeah. his poster notes, maybe around London. What, not chocolate Easter eggs in the summer will melt? They will melt, but uh, we'll come up with an idea. If you want to yeah. ask to do that in a video, yeah. put in the comment section below. Let us know in the comments at the bottom of the video. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> 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 so guys, one thing to remember, with the Elizabeth line, uh, they're still testing works on every Sunday and weekend. So there is no Elizabeth line from Aberwood or can, on any part of the line. So check before you travel and use alternative transport. Again, if you haven't already done so, download the TFL Go app on your phone's tablet or even check online before leaving home or from work or school. So yeah, no Elizabeth line on Sundays. 
So guys, before we close this, conclude this amazing vlog with Anton and Zoe and myself, all three bus drivers, have a day off today, Yes, uh, which is great. Um, please do subscribe to Anton's channel. I'll put it on the description on the video link. So we've got YouTube link, YouTube link, little TikTok. Uh, mine is in my language, so it doesn't matter. Okay, for those who like to see Zoe next time, another YouTube video, put in the comment section below. Still subscribe to this double uh, deck of travel. Andre, that'd be absolutely amazing. Get a thumbs up, share it with all your friends and family. That would be amazing. Anton, two and words. Uh, two words. Two what? words. What do you think of today's uh, cross Uh I enjoyed it. That's three words. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yes, three words. Yeah, it was lovely, I enjoyed it. I love the company. I love the train, the cool air, of course. And uh, come on guys, you have to try it. Go inside now. Now that it's still new and clean. <laughs> She's right. She's right. So do it when it's clean and empty. Try and do it when it's time is not so busy. Rush hour is going to be intensely busy. And Anton will be doing a lot more videos on this. Yeah, well. and expect more videos from the three of us. Uh, we just decided that we'd meet up because we're London bus drivers, so we understand, you know, public transport in general on the buses. And we thought we'd just try the Elizabethan line because it's new. It's been new for the last, but well, it's, it's it opened around six weeks ago, I think, didn't it? Approximately. And it's twenty-fourth of May, which is about seven weeks ago. There's been a lot of YouTube videos. People have asked me to do a video on it. Didn't really want to do it on my own, so it was actually nice. I messaged Andre and Zoe, who I know for many years, driving London's buses, and I thought this could be the first of many videos that we will that we will be doing on London transport. And we might actually go to the actually yes, London Transport Museum. That was another idea. So uh, we're going to visit the London Transport Museum, hopefully this next month, and we'll see you very very soon. Bye bye for now. Bye.